Hello. In this video, we are going to derive an expression for equilibrium in terms of the chemical potential when we have a generic, generalized, multi-phase system. Here we have written a generic multi-phase chemical reaction that involves big A and big B in green as reactants and big green C and big green D as products. So we can recognize the chemical species that are written in capital Latin letters and they're written in green and the number of moles of each that are reacting are written in small Latin letters. So we have small a as the coefficient. So there's going to be an integer. B is going to be an integer. C is going to be an integer and D is an integer. And these are the number of moles of particular reactants, big A, big B, or products formed big C or big D. Note that particularly in advanced work that we can often write chemical reactions where the coefficients small a, small b, small c, and small d are not necessarily integers. But even if they are not integers, we can always recast the reaction in such a way as to make them integers. So for the purpose of this video, we are going to assume that they are integers. Then we can write an expression for the differential of G that gives energy as follows, realizing that we have extended it based upon the fact that we have a four phase system now. So we have A, B, C, and D. Next, we are going to assume that the temperature is constant, so that our DT is equal to zero, and that we are at constant pressure, so that our pressure, this DP expression, now becomes zero. Also, we are assuming we are at equilibrium, which makes DG equal to zero. Once we do that, we can write the following expression, where we have the chemical potential of A times dN sub A plus the chemical potential of B times dN sub B and so on is all set equal to zero, realizing that we are at equilibrium. Next, we are going to derive, divide through by dN sub A. So we simply divide each of the four terms by dN sub A. And since we have an open system, we know that d n sub a is not identically zero. Next, we are going to evaluate each of these fractions. And we're able to evaluate them since we have the overall stoichiometry of the reaction. Even without the stoichiometry of the reaction, d n sub a divided by d n sub a, simply from the rules of calculus, we know is going to be equal to 1. But to be more specific here, just to show, we know that the change in A divided by the change in A is going to be A divided by A. Number of moles of A changes by A. Number of moles of A changes by A. So we have A over A. Similarly for B, that for every A mole of A that changes, we get a change of small b moles of B. So the change D ends to B divided by d n sub a is going to be little b divided by little a. Now it gets a little trickier once we get to c because the change in c is for every increase in the moles of a is going to be a decrease in the moles of c. So we notice that since a and c, one is a reactant and one is a product, their sign has to be opposite. So this expression here, d n sub c divided by d n sub a, has to be equal to minus C divided by A. And last but not least, using the same reasoning, since big D is a product, whereas big A is a reactant, the change D N sub D divided by D N sub A has to be equal to a minus D divided by A. Now, all we've done in the next step is to simplify the fractions and to put the coefficients in front of the chemical potential term. So we get the chemical potential of A plus B divided by A, the chemical potential of B, 
minus C divided by A of the chemical potential of C minus D divided by A of the chemical potential of D is equal to zero at equilibrium. Next, we multiply each side by A, and the effect of this is to clear out the fractions. So now that we have integer coefficients for each of the chemical potential terms at equilibrium. Once we've reached this expression, all we have left to do is to add C times the chemical potential C plus D times the chemical potential of D to each side, and we get the following expression. That equilibrium for this particular generic uh, multi-phase reaction, at equilibrium, A times the chemical potential of A plus B times the chemical potential of B, so this is the reactant terms, is equal to C times the chemical potential of C plus D times the chemical potential of D, where C and D are the products. So this gives us our expression for equilibrium in terms of the chemical potentials of each of the reactants and the products. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.